they come in and take the bus to come to a bus station, then they have to walk, okay, to get to the, the event. There's your signage in our town. What are we doing about it? I have no clue. Nobody sat down and talked to me. So I don't know how to protect our side of the river by something you're doing this there, and it's really not fair to the community of Tom Durk. I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's fair. And I don't think it's fair to the community of South Tom Durk because you are not prepared for this, in my estimation. I don't think you're prepared. I don't think you're prepared for any trouble that could bring that. How many porta potties do you have coming, for example? We have two porta potties. Oh, my God. Two porta potties? Mm -hmm. You have never been to an event. That, that, that scares me. I don't know. If you don't have more than two porta potties for an event like this, you're in trouble. I mean, that tells me that you haven't prepared for anything else. I know a guy, for example, who does a band. You know, they have things in the band that says, we want this, we want this, we want this in our contract. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and the promoter knows this. And one of them puts in, I want jelly, uh, I want uh, jelly beans, jelly beans in the cloud. And I want all the blue ones taken out. And you know why they do that? Because they see if they create attention to detail. The first thing they do is go over to see if the jelly beans are in the promoter's room or in the, uh, the event's room. And they look to see if the blue, because that tells that you pay attention to all the 20 things they listed. Did they get to the number 16? You haven't done that. Two, four to drive, excuse me. Oh my God, that is not enough for an event like this. That's not enough for a football game at, at, at the high school. You are not prepared. I'm very, I have to go on notice of saying, you are not prepared for this event at this time. We will help you, but this is not enough notice. Gentlemen, ladies, you are not prepared. Do not go forward with this at this time. It's against my recommendation. It's a public safety issue. You have no clue what you're in for. And I think it's good intentions. I think it can be done but you have to have proper planning. Otherwise, you're going to be relying on the good attorney, right, Mr. Ryan? Yes, sir. And you're going to be busy. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate it. In, in, in response to Chief Mayor Sonari's comments, can we ask our chief how many officers he has available for this? Yes, Chief. Go ahead. The amount of officers we have, well, I have 13. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to have two to cover the road, and I have to figure out what size of event, how many I'm going to have to bring in. And right now, I really don't. I'm going to have to pretty much play by ear, see how the event grows, put them on notice that they have to come in and bring them in that way. So to bring everybody in, you know, it's very hard to uh, dictate what I need. I can go by the event and watch it, you know. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. I was going to say a dozen or more, to be honest with you. I'm sorry? I was going to say a dozen or more, but I don't know. They have a minimum, I think six to eight outside, just for the gentlemen. And two bathrooms in the building are utilized for the women. In each, ba in each bathroom are two stalls. Okay, that's ten bathrooms. The lines are ridiculous to go to the bathroom. God help you if you held it too long and didn't get online. I saw people waiting for a half hour. They have maybe 1,100. The two porta potties is well, certainly, if um, this porta potty is, 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 is part of um, sticking point, uh, no pun intended, um, it, it, this can obviously be increased. Um, see, the thing is, um, this, like I said, this is something you're talking about, Island Heights and other places, and that have been these, these are known events that have were, uh, had several and several people coming on a yearly basis. We are a, a small town that originally unknown to the world, unknown to even to, to, to uh, a certain part in New Jersey. And so what we're just trying to do is to bring exposure to the town. This is the first event. I, I do understand, um, I do understand that, but there's not even, there are even benches for people to sit. We, I can't even go for a walk there and have a bench to sit on. How are you going to accommodate the, the scope of people that you're looking at safely? You need to look. I understand what you're saying, and I agree. I would like this town to be known for better things, too. But you need to think about the people you're inviting to this event. And are you going to be able to accommodate them for seating, for, for bathrooms, for cleanliness, for safety? Well, you, you we, know, like we've had the event on Bathroom Plaza before, okay? And we have had. Um, that have had over 100 people or close to 300 people. Um, recently we had the, um, the fireworks uh, where we had uh, 
second day, we're definitely going to have half of the amount of people we'll have on, on uh, Saturday. Because if we, if we th just think about it this way, people will be uh, driving all the way from, you know, from a far distance into South Towns River uh, uh, on a Saturday. It's very unlikely for them to go back home because there's, not, there's no accommodation for them to come back home in a week to return that same Sunday. Um, so there, there is such a huge difference between a few hours of fireworks and an all-day event. It, there really is. I'm sorry. I, un I understand your desire, and I applaud your desire to make this terminal for better spring. You're going to have uh, something special. I do. I'm not going to side with that at all. I just really think that you should do it next year when you have more funding. You can do fundraising like every other volunteer organization, baseball, First aid, fire, uh, dare, like everybody fundraises and so nobody has anything to say about the funds that are expedited for because you can fundraise specifically for that and have more planning to where nobody is questioning it and people are looking forward to it instead of being apprehensive about it. Uh, I understand and I appreciate your response. Um, as I indicated to you before, um, as far as the safety, we do have uh, a security firm uh, that can supplement uh, the uh, current uh, manpower that is expected um, to cover the event. How much is the security firm going to cost? That is for the promoter to worry about. It's well, not. It's not. Well, it's how not, is the promoter? Promoters are in place to make money. How is he going to make money? That's that's his issue. That is not my issue. Yeah. Excuse me. You have a security firm. That security. Okay. Uh, and the, the private security is not uh, called upon to, to cross in, in individuals. This is the, it will be the work of the police force. Um, the private uh, security will be uh, on the ground where the event is going to uh, be taking place. And plus, uh, in the state of New Jersey, it, uh, it, by law, individuals have to stop um, whenever a pedestrian is, is crossing. We have that on Washington Street where they have a crosswalk. Yes. Well, they'll be stopped. Yeah. They're stopped there anyhow. These traffic don't pull that. But the, the fact of the matter is, mm -hmm. here's what I'm hearing. <coughs> you want to do well. We want to support you as your neighbor. You are not prepared to do this. When I hear two quarter potties tell me right away, there's not been adequate planning. But whether it's 150, 1,500, or if you get 5,000 because it goes crazy on the internet. You are not prepared, Mayor. I caution you. I agree with this lady from the Sit down with the promoter, sit down with your neighboring communities, have a good plan, and do it right. Sell the tickets. Like we, you know how long for Riverfest when we did that? It was like four months. And I mean, we had weekly meetings. I shouldn't find out about this from the prosecutor's office. And then I, the poor chief, when I call him, he says, oh, I want to support the mayor. You know, he's caught between a rock and a hard place, correct? He, well, he wants to support you, he wants to support the council, but he can't answer my questions, okay? And Quite frankly, you, you're, you're treading on dangerous ground here uh, as far as what could go wrong. What could go right? Yeah, you could have 150, but if you get 500 and you're not prepared for it, you could have a lot. You want to put South Town there on the map? You may put a big X on it and a big lawsuit on it. So I caution you do it right. Sit down, do it next year, give it the proper planning, sit down with your promoter or whoever that promoter is, and sit down and really think about these issues that you're not prepared to address, either tonight or tomorrow. When you talk about party party parties, party parties, I've been to many concerts. I just came back from another country where they think that had ten, fifteen thousand people. They had no more.